With gas prices now above $4 a gallon, you might think it's time to start kicking the tires of an electric vehicle. If you've never owned one, you probably have a lot of questions, such as, will it really save me money? Is it convenient to charge? And what are my options? WRAL's Brian Mims had those questions as well, so he took them to a couple of experts to get some answers. One can whisper louder than this car whirs. It's so quiet. But Shirlene Baskerville wants to give shout outs for her 2022 Nissan Leaf. I don't need to change the oil or to go to the gas station, none of that. None of that 410 a gallon, in other words. It's more like six to eight bucks for a full charge at home. Mm -hmm. But I charge it like once every two weeks, maybe. Mm -hmm. And she says for every full charge, she can drive up to 300 miles. But electric cars fuel a lot of questions. Yeah, the most common are uh, what types are there? So, you know, right now, more than ever before, there are all sorts of different options. That's Jacob Bolin, program manager at Plug In NC. These days, there are pickup trucks and SUVs that are full on electric. Cool options, yes, but what about options for juicing them up when we're on the road? There are more and more charging stations coming every single day. He says North Carolina has about 2,900 charging plugs, and you can download apps, PlugShare, for example, that let you know where they are. This is a fast charging station at the Ridgewood Shopping Center where it takes 15 to 45 minutes for a charge up. The cost to you, 12 to 20 bucks. The objective is to really charge your car kind of like you do your cell phone, where you're not worried about going necessarily from 0% to 100%. You can plug in your car to a regular 110 volt wall outlet. That's the slowest charge. The most common option is the level two outlet, the kind you use to plug in a clothes dryer. Um, a typical car charges to 100% from a zero battery state in about seven to eight hours. Derek Parker is the EV expert at Leaf Nissan and Kerry. He says having a good grasp of the miles you drive every day is key. Of how much range do I need daily? And the more conscious you are of that, you can see how I can very well suit your daily need. I love it. For Shirlene Baskerville, what's not to love? She says her car is clean and quiet. Brian Mims, WRAL News, Raleigh. Oh, Ms. Charlene may have convinced me. North Carolina does have a yearly electric vehicle fee. It's about $130. That's a way to make up that lost revenue from the fuel tax. We have a link on our website to plug in NC with more advice on owning EVs.